All right, today we're going to take a look at how to rewire a microphone from unbalanced to balanced. And we're going to look at the Pile PD MIC78. So first, just get you some decent quality mic wire. I'm replacing the wires that came in here completely because they were cheap Chinese wires and I figured we could do better. So just strip the ends just like that. And then I've already unscrewed the little helicoil screw in there. You actually have to turn it to the right. And then the whole end pin comes out. And you can see the very thin wiring they used. And for whatever reason they had pin 2 jumped off to pin 1. I'm sorry, I think it's pin 3 jumped off to pin 1. Now I'm marking the hot wire here. The one that has to be moved to pin 3. And desoldering everything. There's only two wires coming down. Two microphone leads. And that's all they had wired. The, the third is supposed to be the ground, so we have to clip that out and separate pin 3 from pin 1. Once you get that done, you can unscrew it and take a look at their wiring. There's no transformer in this microphone, which I found interesting. And again, you see the thickness difference in the wires. Now we just desolder the old wires. The connections weren't super great either. So now I've put the new ones on and I've kind of beefed them up a little bit. There you go. And then it's very important you need to twist your cables together because that helps to stop hum, any excess hum within the microphone. I used this, it was originally meant to go to a, a, an XLR to quarter inch cable. So that's why I'm, I'm rewiring it so I can use an XLR on it. There was a lot of extra wire, so I trimmed that off. Here's a neat trick, just tape around some little uh, needle nose pliers if you need a little clamp and you don't have one. And this allowed me to have a little stand for the XLR pin. Alright, wiring my hot cable there to pin 3. And then my other lead to uh, pin 2 and pin 1 is jumped off to the ground which is what we want because it's supposed to ground to the chassis of the microphone through that little screw there. And now we're balanced and we're ready to go. So if you want to know how it sounds, uh, the acoustic guitar in the background of this video as well as this overdub were done using this particular microphone. We're going to do a shootout soon of uh, a few different microphones. And of course, just one more wire comparison to see the difference in gauge. It should last a long time. Thanks, everybody.